What are your bastard plans for your b online services? When's it coming? Hello, here we go. New Nintendo announcement. This is the one. Oh, for f Alright, so it isn't what I wanted, but to be fair to Nintendo, they did say in advance this was going to be an announcement about a game for kids, so I knew it weren't going to be about the online stuff. Instead, what we have got is Nintendo Labo, which is a cross between a video game, a toy, and menial factory assembly work. Nintendo Labo is a range of new games that comes with a DIY carbon peripheral kit, kind of like IKEA flat pack furniture, but for game controllers. There's two kits, or toy cons as Nintendo are calling them, available at launch in April. A variety kit which allows you to create a range of objects including a fully functional 13 key piano, a motorbike and a camera. And we've got toy con 2, a more intricate and challenging to build robot kit which appears to have its roots in Mario creator Shigeru Miyamoto's Project Giant Robot. A game in development for the Wii U which many, including myself, assumed had been cancelled. And my honest first reaction to this announcement is, I want them all! If I had seen this when I was a young lad, my mind would have been blown harder than that time I <laughs> put <laughs> with Branston Pickle all over the microwave. I, I used to build cardboard robots all the time! Empty cereal packets and those bog roll tubes. If I'd have thought I could have brought those creations to life in a video game, I would have hit my pants in excitement. For me personally, I can't think of another company that can elicit the same kind of childlike wonder out of me than Nintendo. And considering their past, it's not surprising. Once upon a long time forever ago, Nintendo were a toy maker. In the 1970s, they even produced a line of cut-out paper modelling toys, unimaginatively called Paper Model. Nintendo have a long history then of understanding that kids enjoy physical objects to play with. Even in today's modern age with Minecraft and smartphones, there's still room for physical objects to capture the hearts of children. Look at the recent success of fidget spinners amongst the young for evidence of this. It's a really smart idea. I bet Nintendo have got hundreds of out there concepts for games that before this would have meant an expensive to produce and buy a peripheral. Look at all the lumps of plastic steering wheels, fishing rods, gun holsters we've had in the past. Nintendo have taken those problems and turned it into an absolutely phenomenal bit of design and marketing. Aimed at kids but just complex enough that they're going to have to ask mum, dad or maybe even a teacher to help them build it. It seems like the perfect product for a young family to get together and as Nintendo are saying, create, play, discover. And in a market that's moving slowly but surely to a digital future, Having a physical product like this keeps the relationship with the all-important brick and mortar retail shops strong. And it's just cardboard. Expensive cardboard, mine 70 quid that robot. I mean that's a lot of money for something that when I inevitably spill my coffee on it, it's gonna fall apart faster than a Nature Valley granola bar. And the actual games themselves, it's obviously impossible to tell at this point, but I'm getting a very strong whiff of hollow minigame experience out of them, which of course would be a bad thing. Kids are fickle little creatures, but they do know the difference between a good game and one that's a complete turd, and will quickly drop something that no longer interests them. But perhaps the building is the most important part. The piano reportedly takes two hours to build, and that's just one of many in the pack. And to be fair to Nintendo, they are releasing plans for all the toy cons free of charge to download and print off if you need to replace parts. Not in a million years was anyone going to guess this is what Nintendo had up their sleeve. It's a waste of time trying to predict what Nintendo's up to, and equally as futile is trying to guess whether one of their products is going to be a success or a failure. I think it's a great idea, I think it looks really neat, but ain't for me is it, it's for kids and only time's going to tell if they love it and embrace it or turn their nose up it. Probably the latter. Spoiled little shits, most of them. Hey, thank you for giving me your time once again. As always, it's really appreciated. I'm going into week three of this channel now, so I'm still new, and all of your feedback, your comments, and your subscribes are a real valuable source of information and motivation to keep doing this. So, but honestly, thank you. Um, Labo, what do you think of Labo? I've, I I like it, um, but what I'm hearing a lot is it's neat, but it's it's not for me. I, I, I like it. It's a cool idea, but it's not for me. So, is it for you? Do you have kids? Do they like it? Yeah, I think it, I like it. I um, I think worst case scenario is I get a good couple of days of fun building stuff, and then I'll trade the game in and get most of my money back. 
Anyway, do let us know what you think. Uh, give us a subscribe and all that. And I'll see you next time. Till up.